Moment of a force. What is the moment of a force? A moment is a force's tendency to cause rotation in regards or in respect to a certain point, meaning it's dependent on the point of analysis. Moments rotate around their designated vector, meaning if we were given a k vector, a positive k vector, that would be considered a positive z vector, where your vector is coming out of the page or out of the screen. Um, a positive moment would be going counterclockwise around that. So if you were looking at the xy plane, you would see that counterclockwise rotation. There are two ways to calculate a moment. The first is by using a cross product, and the second is by multiplying the force by its perpendicular distance. When we're talking about calculating a moment by using a cross product, our equation for that is m sub o equals r cross f, where m sub o is the moment about point o, r being the radius or the distance vector. That's the point that the force is applied to minus the point of O, or the distance, the displacement from point O to that force, crossed with F, F being the force vector. To use the cross product method, we need all of that information in its vector format. In order to multiply a force and its perpendicular distance in order to get a moment, we're only going to get a moment magnitude rather than a moment vector, meaning we are going to have to do some logic to figure out the vector or direction of the moment. But the magnitude of the moment is equal to the magnitude of a force times the perpendicular distance between the point of analysis and the line of action of the force. So for the first method where we use the cross product to calculate a force, let's look at an example problem where we have a force vector which will be given. It's applied at the point 1x 2y and 0z, find the moment about the origin point. So our r vector is going to be the point that is applied to, the force is applied to, minus the origin point, giving us an r vector of 1x or 1i, 2j, and 0k. We would then have to calculate the cross product between r and f. Remember that when you're doing this that if you were to use that matrix format, your R is going to have to be your second row there. The last method is to multiply the force and the perpendicular distance. The perpendicular distance is if the force's line of action were to go on forever, what would be the shortest distance between the point of analysis and the force's line of action. The shortest distance is going to be the perpendicular distance. So you're also going to notice that it, it hits that force's line of action perpendicular to the force's line of action, meaning it's going to have a perpendicular unit vector.